Hi, everybody. I'm here to uh, help uh, inaugurate uh, Hal Needham into the Academy Award Honorary Oscar Hall of Fame. Uh, in case anybody who doesn't realize this, Hal is, uh, there's only been one other legendary stuntman along with Hal to ever receive an Oscar. That entire profession that has done so much for cinema, sometimes at the loss of their life, has only had one other person receive a little gold man. And that was the great Yakima Kanut. But now we have another, Hal Needham. And as Burt Reynolds said, he is the man. Before he became a director himself, he pushed the boundaries of what could be done in stunts, in action. He made action living, starting from the beginning of the 60s in particular, is when he started getting together with his stunt cronies and figuring out how to figure out to do fight scenes so they could be better, so the action could be more exciting. How could they train the horse? To, uh, you know, maybe if we got the horses four months in advance, we could train them to do things that could be amazing that they wouldn't get hurt in, but it would look spectacular. And if you've ever seen Little Big Man, a film that he was the stunt gaffer on, some of the greatest horse stunts ever captured on cinema. And at a certain point, after uh, uh, being the lead gaffer for the great Andrew McLaughlin for so many years, he became the second unit director on many films, uh, films that just pushed in the early 70s, just pushed the action to like fantastic degrees. You know, Robert Aldrich let him shoot the car chase in Longest Yard. Robert Aldrich could have shot it. He was a pretty great action director, but he let Hal Needham shoot it. Uh, same thing with uh, the the uh, the great uh, literally uh, white lighting has some of my is some of my favorite uh, uh, car car action ever, but also in a film that we were just talking about earlier today uh, with Antonio Margheriti, Take a Hard Ride, starring Jim Brown. I've seen a lot of Antonio Margheriti's work. He was a cool he was a cool Italian director, but I never saw action like that. I remember watching it, the movie. I go, when did Margheriti start doing shit like this? All right, and then I saw, oh, second unit director Hal Needham. There you go, I got it now, all right. But then with, uh, he, uh, um, after doing second unit work for all that time, he did Smokey and the Bandit, actually one of the most enjoyable first directed features ever made. I mean, really, to this day, it completely holds up a magnificent movie of action and comedy. Burt Reynolds at his highest, as far as his persona was concerned. But also, really important, a true Southern movie. A real Southern movie. Not a Hollywood Southern movie. A real Southern movie that understood the South in a really, really lovely way. Anyway, it is my honor, Hal, to honor you on this this lovely night and this much deserved award. I've never worked with you, I've worked with a lot of people you know and I have ripped off many shots from you. And today I say thank you very much. <laughs>